Hi guys, and welcome back to my channel. We are kicking off the new year with my first organization video of 2023. We're starting in the kitchen today, and I'm so excited. This is the before, it's not terrible, but we moved into this home a year and a half ago, and I never really organized this space how I would have hoped. So I'm finally tackling that today. Like a thousand times before Can't take this anymore Cause I've been looking for something to change thoughts into motion Been waiting way too long as most of you guys know, organization is my love language and something that I really enjoy doing, not only because it looks really nice and it's easier to find things, but it truly does help so much with my mental health. Out waiting for something, and if I close my eyes, it's all been a waste of time. I was out driving every mile, and now I have been one. So I would say about 60% of our kitchen tools and appliances are put away where they're going to stay. So since this was a larger project, I decided to work on one area or one drawer at a time instead of taking everything out at once like I typically would. So I started off with our smaller appliances and pots and pans and then I worked my way around. And all of these drawers were completely banged up from the pots and pans. So Adam and I used a magic eraser to get up all the scuffs and then I relined every drawer and cabinet for a fresh start.
I can link all of the organizers I used for our kitchen in the description box if you guys are interested, but the only two new ones I ended up purchasing for the entire kitchen were the two acrylic ones for this drawer to hold our stainless steel kitchen tools. Do any of you guys have the Always Pan? My management got it for me for Christmas two years ago, and honestly, we rarely use any of our other pans aside from a couple of the pots here and there, but I use my Mackenzie Child's checkered one that I have just sitting on top of our range. I use that one a lot too, so I got rid of some of our old ones that we weren't using, but if you were debating on getting the Always Pan, we really, really like it. I got my mom one for Christmas this past year, and she's been loving it too. There are very few things that make me as happy as Magic Erasing does. I wanna do this to our entire house now. It does take a lot of arm strength to get up all the scuff, so Adam had to help me with this part since that motion of like pushing still really hurts my boobs, but he did such a great job and completely got carried away and did like the entire kitchen from top to bottom. So now our kitchen cabinets look honestly better than the day that we moved in. Okay, now I'm taking everything out from a couple different cabinets and just putting everything on our kitchen island because these couple drawers I wanted to completely reorganize because the system that we had set up originally just wasn't making the most sense. We do have a ton of storage in our kitchen, which is really nice. That's something that I did prioritize a ton when building our home. I love that we have these hidden cabinets under our island to store holiday dishes. And then I also stored a lot of the glass dishware that we don't use every day. And so far, Tatum hasn't found out about these cabinets, so I haven't felt the need to put child locks on them yet. I think because there's always bar stools covering them, so she can't open them unless she were to like completely push the chair completely out of the way. So. Don't tell her. From Waterloo to Amsterdam will be a little heaven. And if I had to dream about that love, roll the dice and we'll go to paradise. A little heaven. Got to dream a bit while you can. Roll the dice and we'll go to paradise. And say a little heaven. I'm walking on this hill of mine. Just gotta get past it.
So on the right side, I decided to put my cake stands and then some of the glass dishware that we use on holidays and for events and stuff. And then on the left side, I have some of the things that we use when we're setting a table for a holiday, some extra utensils and plates if I'm setting the table for a large party, and then some of our holiday dishware over here too. In these drawers to the right of the range, I put our baking dishes and strainers, which I ended up ordering a new strainer set because the white one that we had started to rust and it was just making a huge mess. Um, the new ones came in the following day, so I'll share those later on in this video with a few other things that I realized we needed since doing this complete reorganize and declutter. I realized that we needed a few more things um, like kids utensils we were low on and um, glass straws. I don't know where our glass straws went. They completely disappeared. Um, and I've been making a lot of my coffee at home the past couple days. So I ordered some more of those and then like a new bowl set um, with like lids on top of it. We had one from Costco that we had for like four years and they just disappeared. I don't know where they went. So I ordered a new bowl set too and I'll share that in a little bit. Okay, and then in our pantry under the microwave, we have two really deep drawers where I decided to store some of our bigger appliances. And I'll share what I did with the top drawer in just a second, but I always forget that we have these three little narrow drawers to the left of our sink. They were not being utilized well at all, so I decided to change that. Okay, here's what I decided to do with the top drawer in the pantry. I love these wooden organizers because you can configure them however you want and they just help keep things in place and make it look really clean too. Our trash bin drawer was a hot mess so I deep cleaned this area too and then that's when Tatum and Grayson woke up from their nap so I put a hold on finishing this until the following day. Okay, it's a new day and I'm picking back up where I left off and gonna start with our utensil drawer.
These couple drawers on the side of the kitchen have stayed pretty organized for the most part so I didn't have to do much there but I did need to go through our cabinets where we store our cups so that's what I'm going to do next. Okay, I am finally done organizing the kitchen. So I'm gonna show you guys an overview of how everything turned out. I put some of our Valentine's decor up that we've had. 
These muffins, by the way, are so good. I'll link the recipe below. This is our second time making them. They're gluten-free um, banana chocolate chip muffins, and they're amazing. Um, so we're gonna start with this drawer. This is all of our kitchen tools and appliances. So these are the two organizers that I needed that I got from Home Goods last week. I needed one that was narrow enough um, to fit in this drawer to hold more appliances. So that's all organized better. Our pots and pans. And then some extra things down there. And then over here, this is the only drawer that I still have yet to organize, our spice drawer. I mean, it's not terrible, but I need to consolidate a little bit. But I didn't get around to doing that yet. Um, our baking dishes. Um, this is the new bowl set that I got and the strainers. So it came in a set of three different sizes. This is our salad spinner. And then over here on this side, we have our glassware. Well, this is the kids' cups right here. And then we have some more glassware that we don't use every day. Wine glasses, champagne glasses, stuff like that. And then over here, these are our plastic glasses coffee cups, Stanleys, and then those are tumblers that I don't really use anymore because I'm obsessed with the Stanley. Um, and then when we built our house, I had our builder customize our cabinets right here, mainly for baby bottles and bibs and stuff. But since we're kind of out of that phase, I don't really know what to put in here. So if you guys have any recommendations, let me know. <laughs> I saved one bib and then the rest of the little slots are empty. So we still have some space to put stuff there um cleaned out this drawer i ran out of liners so i'm gonna need to purchase some more so that this doesn't slide as much um but it fits in here perfectly i decided to put her binkies and passy clips right there glass straws um medicine dispensers and then in this drawer this is one that i did not really touch it was already organized so um, this side of the kitchen didn't really need to be touched. Um, over here into the pantry, underneath the microwave, this is how this drawer turned out. This is our little sticks for when we roast marshmallows. They're all different colors for the kids. Um, this is when we do our chicken skewers muffin liner stuff like that in there and this is like bigger kitchen appliances in this drawer since it's a lot deeper um we have like thanksgiving dishes and stuff in here that didn't fit in the cabinets underneath the um island that's what that's looking like and then over here next to the trash can in the sink i have some extra sponges magic erasers chip clips are gonna go in there um adam scale i don't really know why i put these here but i did <laughs> we have a lot of storage so um i was just putting stuff where i thought would make the most sense and then um our oven mitts are in here chloe's balls are down there in that drawer um i didn't touch this little cabinet over here by the dishwasher it just has our pans muffin liners and then above the fridge, I have extra organizers, and I don't think there's anything. Oh, there's um, our Instant Pot is up there. And then that's another piece to our fridge, just another shelf that we don't use. And then over here by the side of the fridge, we have this counter, which was our catch-all space, and it was driving me insane. It was just like a bunch of mail and clutter. So I cleared it all out and I repurchased a charging dock because the one that we used to have, all the cords just somehow disappeared. So I ordered another one to charge the kids' iPads right here. And then I wanna get like some artwork or like a plant or something to decorate the space. But anyways, this cabinet has um, a lot of my vases and then like um, glassware up here and then stuff to do the girl's hair in the morning right here. This was down here before, but I moved it up just because it was an eyesore. Some medicines that we use frequently, our kids' sleep gummies, um, band-aids are in here, Neosporin, and then 
mail. We need to go through our mail. There was a lot just sitting on the counter. Um, so we need to do that. That's like another huge project. We need to figure out how to like store all of our mail better. But looks a lot better in there. I think, oh, you guys already saw under here. I did like an overview, but that is the kitchen. It definitely took me a lot longer than I anticipated, but it feels so good to finally have it done and organized the way that I want it to be. And it definitely gave me the motivation to tackle more spaces in our home. There's a list on my phone of multiple different areas that I want to reorganize. So if you guys are into these videos, make sure you're subscribed because there's lots more to come. But thank you guys so much for watching this video. Please give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.